রংবা গজলা উকনরাত কংকল সংমা লং হাদিন বলাশিম এ নং মুনা বানফা বানখমি বিয়া লালাব গজলা মেঘালিয়া গলাশা খাতা হা উ ডেলটা ভারিয়েন জং কোভিড নাইনটিন কবমত বাম খাইন বর বাদ উভয় বেদ স্টেট ভা হা গজলা উলং বাকি বেদ ইউ কোভিড রু কালাপুর স্টেট ভা সিকিবি কবি কি ডিস্ট্রিক গজলা খামতাম ওয়েস্ট গার হিলস ডিস্ট্রিক বাদ ওয়েস্ট জেন্টা হিলস ডিস্ট্রিক কিবা এবেদ কমবা হিও ফৌ হলু ফ্রা ফুট সিসি হা কিনে কি খেদ সি কি বেপ পাতমতা গি কেলাডন পালাত নু স্পাঙুদ কিবা ইবেদ ইউ খুঁজ পং বারলায়ু ই রু বাকি ইবেদ ইউ খুঁজ জিং পং কামদে সু তং হাসলং নে ইস খাস হিলস পাত উলা বন্দ্রা পাকা সরকার ক্লাপ্রে পাত একে লাট জিং আদা সাকি জাকা নং খুন্দং উমিত্রী রং বা উলং বাকা সরকার কন বিশার বিয়ং লাই গি হা কবে দে পাক জিং লং জুমান জিল্লা নু কোভিড নাইনটিন পাত কুম বাকা লং মনতা কিং লং জুমান কে ফে না কুবই কি ডিস্ট্রিক সাকুবই পাত হালো কিং পুজন সুরি আকা খাং দাম উকনরাত উলং পাই গানি গা সরকার কানসা সিম এ রায় লাই কী হাইডেন বাকলাইও এ কাইফত নাবরো কি ডিস্ট্রিক হা গজলা দা গবা উলং বাকা সরকার কুম কালং মনতা কাবু হাকমা দু ইয়া গিং কোচ জিংখিয়া ওয়াটলা কা হা পান পর খাট রু ইয়া খাই পাতেন and uh, now we are definitely seeing that uh, that number one that after doing the genome sequence of a large number of uh, samples that this is a uh, more of a delta variant that we have which is a very highly infectious and high spreading variant so therefore we have seen the spread that's taken place throughout the state that's number one so number two we are now seeing that the spread is happening in other districts as well so we have seen three districts uh, Uh, like the West Garo Hills district uh, and uh, West Jente Hills district and one more district uh, I can't remember right now uh, which is uh, has crossed and touched up about 70 80 cases on an average in the last few days so uh, it's uh, we're seeing that this matter of concern is coming up that uh, these districts are being impacted uh, tomorrow I'll be visiting Jowai and I'll be taking a review meeting out there and seeing the preparedness overall in that area also and uh, we have been getting good reports that the uh, infrastructures are coming up very fast including the oxygen plants so all these aspects will be reviewed uh, similarly for claret also we will review it there tomorrow so uh, the numbers have today again crossed 600 active uh, new cases and the uh, the the uh, recoveries have been less than 500 so yesterday we have seen more new cases than uh, than the recoveries but what is important as i said is that the uh epicenter is shifting slowly in the sense that it's not now in these khasi hills and shillong as it was earlier now we're seeing shillong and these khasi hills having about 200 uh plus average cases uh, in a day so we'll have to observe the next few days and see how the strategy goes and to see and make sure that uh, the rural infrastructure and rural areas also are equally prepared for the situation any situation is an area of concern and uh, therefore obviously uh, we have to ensure that uh, steps are taken uh, in advance uh, so that uh, containment measures can be taken and uh, awareness can be created about ensuring that the reports uh, come in on time people test on time and people can take preventive measures on time so it is a matter of concern there's no doubt about it uh, but we have uh, definitely made as much arrangements as possible uh, we have to be careful we have to keep a watch and we have to continuously monitor the situation and continuously also improve on the overall uh, you know uh, setups and the infrastructure at the grassroots level also we will see tomorrow how it goes and uh, seeing the trend and seeing the reports that we get from the deputy commissioners uh, we'll take a call tomorrow on how we should move forward but as i said i keep maintaining that we are trying our best to ensure that keeping health as a priority we also realize that economic activities need to be balanced out so we'll look into those as well so the containment measures have been taken in east khasi hills and therefore we are seeing the results in east khasi hills that the numbers are going down uh, definitely in the other rural areas since the areas are quite uh, vulnerable open people are uh, moving so therefore uh, the fact that uh, this variant also that we have found in meghalaya is also one of the infectious ones so therefore all these factors have led but definitely all the deputy commissioners have uh, taken measures at their own level so uh, it's uh, the numbers are high but uh, definitely uh, if the right measures are taken now also we should be able to keep things under control but as i said we cannot take anything for granted so as i said the average numbers coming up in the districts are ranging between 50 to 100 
So we need to be uh, very careful and ensure that more and more containment areas are created and more uh, effects, uh, efforts are made to ensure that uh, we don't allow the spread of this. And obviously containment strategy is one of the main strategies. That is now uh, the strategy is going to change because of the fact that the Government of India has allowed the 18 plus, uh, or rather Government of India has agreed to now supply the 18 plus category also. So therefore, based on that, we will be able to, uh, we will be able to now um, vaccinate and combine both the 18 plus and 45 plus in one category. So we have approximately 1,50,000 uh, doses with us now. So therefore, um, if there are, uh, you know, the numbers obviously for the 45 plus is about 90,000. So we have more doses for the, 90, uh, for the 45, 000, uh, 45 age above. So now with the change in the policy, we'll be able to use those dosages even for the 18 plus. So in case there is reluctancy among the 45 plus, and uh, we have more people coming in 18 category, 18 plus category, we'll be able to use those 90,000 now in the 18 plus also. So the numbers of vaccination will definitely now go up. And we expect that uh, based on the performance and the work we do, the number of vaccines also will go up for us. No, state procurement is not there now anymore because uh, as you've known, and as you know, that the Prime Minister has announced a few days back that now the 18 plus category also will be provided by Government of India. So therefore, now the state will not have to buy. But we have placed the order for 60,000 before the announcement made by Prime Minister. And those 60,000 also should be arriving in a day or two. So with that, and with the 45 plus category of 90,000 doses, we will be having about 1,50,000. But in the future now, state governments will not have to procure any more vaccines at the state level. It will be provided by central government.